Erasing personal history. What did you call your father? I called him dad. What did you call your mother? I called her mom. I mean, what other words did you use to call your father and mother? How did you call them? Golly, you got me there. Let me think. Well, how else did I call them? I called them, hey, hey, dad, hey, hey, mom. These are very serious questions and it's very important for my work to fill out the forms. What were the names of your father and mother? Don't waste your time with that crap. I don't have any personal history. One day I found out that personal history was no longer necessary for me and like drinking, I dropped it. You assured me it was all right to ask you questions. I don't mind at all. I don't have personal history anymore. I dropped it one day when I felt it was no longer necessary. How can one drop one's personal history? One must first have the desire to drop it, and then one must proceed harmoniously to chop it off little by little. Why should anyone have such a desire? Perhaps you should tell me what you mean by dropping one's personal history. To do away with it, that's what I mean. I must not understand the proposition. Take yourself for instance, you are Yaki. You can't change that. Am I? How do you know that? True, I can't know that with certainty, but you know it. And that's what counts. That's what makes it personal history. The fact that I know whether I'm Yaki or not doesn't make it personal history. Only when someone else knows that does it become personal history. And I assure you that no one will ever know that for sure. You will never know who or what I am because I don't have a personal history. Do you have a father? I do. Your father is an example of what I have in mind. What did your father think of you? Your father knows everything about you. So he has you all figured out. He knows who you are and what you do. And there's no power on earth that can make him change his mind about you. Everybody that knows you has an idea about you. You keep feeding the idea with everything you do. Don't you see? You must renew your history by telling your relatives, your parents, your friends, everything you do. On the other hand, if you have no personal history, no explanations are needed. Nobody is angry or disillusioned with your acts, and above all, nobody pins you down with their thoughts. I don't know how we ended up talking about this when all I wanted was some names for my charts. It's terribly simple the way we ended up talking about it was because I said to ask questions about one's past is a bunch of crap. Is the idea of not having personal history something that the Yakis do? Where did you learn it? I learned it during the course of my life. Did your father teach you that? No, let's say that I learned it by myself. Now I'm giving you its secret so you won't go away empty-handed today. Write it down, why not? You seem to be more comfortable writing. It's best to erase all personal history because that would free us from the encumbering thoughts of others. Take yourself for instance, write down you don't know whether you're coming or going. And that is so because I erased my personal history. I have little by little created a fog around me in my life. And now nobody knows for sure who I am or what I do. But you yourself know who you are, don't you? You bet I don't. That is the little secret I'm going to give to you today. Nobody knows my personal history. Nobody knows who I am or what I do. Not even I. How can I know who I am when I am all this? Little by little, you must create a fog around yourself. You must erase everything around you until nothing can be taken for granted, until nothing is any longer for sure or real. Your problem now is that you're too real, your endeavors are too real, your moods are too real. Don't take things so for granted. You must begin to erase yourself. What for? You said that you wanted to learn plants. Do you want to get something for nothing? What do you think this is? We agreed that you would ask me questions and I would tell you what I know. If you don't like it, there's nothing else we can say to each other. 
You're right. Let's put it this way then. If you want to learn about plants, since there's really nothing to say about them, you must, amongst other things, erase your personal history. How? Begin with simple things, such as not revealing what you really do. Then you must leave everyone who knows you well. This way you'll build up a fog around yourself. But that's absurd. Why shouldn't people know me? What's wrong with that? What's wrong is that once they know you, you're an affair taken for granted. And from that moment on, you won't be able to break the tie of their thoughts. I personally like the ultimate freedom of being unknown. No one knows me with a steadfast certainty the way people know you, for instance. But that would be lying. I'm not concerned with lies or truths. Lies are lies only if you have personal history. I don't like to deliberately mystify people or mislead them. You mislead everybody anyway. I'm painfully aware that my family and friends believe I'm unreliable, when in reality I've never told a lie in my life. You always knew how to lie. The only thing that was missing was you didn't know why to do it. Now you do. Don't you see that I'm really sick and tired of people thinking I'm unreliable? But you are unreliable. Damn it, the hell man, I'm not. When one doesn't have personal history, nothing one says can be taken for a lie. Your trouble is that you have to explain everything to everybody compulsively. And at the same time, you want to keep the freshness, the newness of what you do. Well, since you can't be excited after explaining everything that you've done, you lie in order to keep on going. From now on, you must simply show people whatever you care to show them. But without telling them exactly how you've done it. I can't keep secrets. What you're saying is useless to me. Then change. You see, we only have two alternatives. We either take everything for sure and real, or we don't. If we follow the first, we end up bored to death with ourselves and with the world. If we follow the second and erase personal history, we create a fog around us, a very exciting and mysterious state in which nobody knows where the rabbit will pop out, not even ourselves. Erasing our personal history will only create our sensation of insecurity. When nothing is for sure, we remain alert, perennially on our toes. It's more exciting to not know which bush the rabbit is hiding behind than to behave as though we know everything. <laughs>